this is my student support system keep watching keep learning hello welcome to my student support system in today's class we will discuss about wound care cleaning and dressing this is a practical procedure this lecture is in english and if you want to study in hindi just click on i button and you will get link of hindi lecture or you can directly visit to channel my student support system what are cuts and wounds wound is defined as a break in the continuity of skin wounds are divided mainly into five types incised wound lacerated wound contused wound or contusion punctured wound and amputation now we will discuss them one by one first is incised wound incised wounds are caused by a sharp object such as knife or shreds of glass slicing into the skin depending upon the injury of underlying blood vessels there may be a significant blood loss lacerated wound a laceration is a wound that is produced by tearing of the soft tissue this type of wound is often irregular and jagged a laceration is often contaminated with the bacteria and debris from whatever object caused the cut contusions are the type of hematoma or collection of blood outside the blood vessels when there is a blunt trauma capillary or blood vessels are injured and blood leaks into the surrounding area and it is covered with the skin means it is under the skin punctured wound a punctured wound is a forceful injury caused by a sharp pointed object that penetrates deep into the skin a punctured wound is usually narrower and deeper than a cut amputation traumatic amputation is the loss of body part usually a finger toe arm or leg that occur as a result of an accident or injury it is normally associated with severe blood loss because blood vessels are also cut all types of wounds have some common symptom which includes pain swelling and bleeding depending on location of injury some wounds will hurt or bleed or swell more than others so how we will provide wound care actually wound care includes two basic steps which are cleaning and dressing cleaning removes visible dust and dirt as well as necrotic tissue that hinder the progress of wound healing dressing is covering of the wound dressing protects the wound from infection and further injury and also promote wound healing so let us start this wound care procedure for this we have to prepare the articles dressing tray contains clean and sterile gloves means one set of clean gloves and one set sterile gloves additional ppe if required depends upon the type of wound or size of wound sterile cotton swabs and gauze sterile dressing surgical or abdominal pads sterile dressing set which contains sterile scissors and forceps suture set if needed then cleaning solutions normally normal saline and h2o2 antiseptic solutions which includes betadine solution mainly antiseptic creams like soframycin and betadine antiseptic uh, apart from this 
adhesive tapes and bandages of different size to secure the dressing. Kidney tray and paper bag, making tosh and towel. What are the steps of procedure? Let us start. First of all, we will explain the procedure to the client to win confidence and uh, the client is able to understand that what is going on. Assess the patient's level of comfort and need for analgesics before wound care. Assess current dressing to determine if it is intact. Assess for excess uh, drainage, bleeding, or saturation of the dressing. Perform hand hygiene and put on clean glass. After then, close curtain around the bed and close the door of the room if possible to provide privacy. Assist the patient to a comfortable position that provides easy access to the wound area. Loosen the tapes of the old dressing or untie the uh, knots and then carefully remove the soil dressing. Assess and place it in the kidney tray. Inspect the wound, size, appearance and drainage. Assess if any pain is present and check the status of sutures, adhesive, closer T strips if there, staples, drainage to be present. Then open the sterile dressing tray. Remove the clean gloves and put on sterile gloves. Clean the wound from top to bottom and from center to periphery or outside. Following this pattern, use new gauze for each wipe. Every time new gauze and placing the used gauze in the waste receptacle like kidney tray. Once the wound is cleaned, dry the wound using the dry gauze sponge. In the same manner means from top to bottom or uh, center to periphery. Apply ointment or antiseptic solution. Perform other treatment if needed. If the drain tube is there then clean the drain tube also. Apply a layer of dry gauze or cotton on the wound. Sterile forceps may be uh, needed for applying the dressing. Second layer of gauze and cotton is also uh, applied if need arises or we can say if uh, uh, chances of drainage is more then we apply more layers of cotton and gauze. Remove the gloves and secure the dressing by adhesive tape or bandage. After Securing the dressing, label the dressing with the date and time. Remove all the articles to their proper place means after care of the article should be done. Place the patient in comfortable position and return to the patient after some time and check the dressing for drainage, tightness or looseness. Record the procedure in nurse's notes with assessment findings and evaluation of the procedure. Thank you students for watching this video. For such important videos you can subscribe the channel, you can like Facebook 